just one NBA season, Jalen Duran has shown everyone his scary potential and why I believe he will shock the NBA in the very near future. In this video, I want to go over what Jalen has shown us so far with one season in the books, how he fits in with the Pistons core, and where I think he can go in the future, and where I think the Pistons can go in the future, with Jalen Duran as their starting center. So before I get into the rest of the video, do me a huge favor and subscribe, and if you guys enjoy Pistons content, be sure to like the video, and stay tuned for more Pistons videos. I'll be having a ton more soon here. First off, I want to look at Jalen's 2022-2023 season with the Detroit Pistons. He averaged 9 points and 9 rebounds on 25 minutes per game, so nearly a double-double. And he had 31 games started and 67 games played. So he started about half the games last year when James Wiseman came over. He became the backup for the Pistons and came off the bench. What do you guys think? Do you think he should come off the bench again next year with Wiseman starting? Or do you guys think he's ready to take the next step? and become the full-time starter for the Detroit Pistons? Let me know down in the comments. But to start the season being an 18-year-old player in the NBA is already pretty crazy. But to average 9-9, nine and nine, almost a double-double your first year in the NBA, that's special, and that says something. Also, to start 31 games in the NBA being 18 years old, 19 years old, it's really crazy. Duran really put on a show overall. His entire game was very impressive. I don't know if anyone really expected Duran to be that good, that young. A lot of people, when he was coming out, were talking about he might be in the G League. He might start the year off in the G League, and we don't know if he's ready yet because he's only 18. But Troy Weaver had no doubt this was a guy who was ready to play from day one. He said that, and he was completely spot on. When he said that about Jalen Duran, Duran looked like an NBA-ready player from the start, from the first game of the year. He was ready to go, and it's because of his, his body, his athleticism. He's a physical beast. He's a physical specimen. For him to be 6'11", with that type of frame on him, with you know the muscular body he has, it really helps him out and helps him his game out a ton. Makes him very athletic. He runs the floor exceptionally. Great stamina and cardio for a big man. Usually you don't see a big man run the floor like Jalen Duran does. He runs the floor like he's a point guard. He's just up and down, up and down, up and down. Whereas usually these 35-year-old older big men, they're huffing and puffing and it's tough for them. they got to come out of the game after 10, 15 minutes. Duran... He's ready to run up and down the whole 40, the whole game. You know, he's ready to go at all times. He's great in transition because of that. He's sneaky good on cuts, drives, fast breaks. His overall athleticism is just crazy. He's 19 years old now. He was born in 2003. Really just a crazy physical beast for his age. And he was one of the youngest players in the NBA of all time. You don't really see 18-year-olds in the NBA too often. It's a pretty rare sight. And then when you see one as good as Jalen Duran, it's just even more impressive. Now, Paul George was on a podcast, and he spoke about Jalen Duran. He said he sees him as a baby Dwight Howard. And he says he's built like a grown man. He says he's very strong and he's hard to move. He noted that he was trying to box JD out and... Duran was just swim moving and getting past him and just getting positioning on the block. So Jalen Duran is already playing like a grown man in the NBA. He's fitting in right with the NBA players. Like I said, even though he's 19 years old, you wouldn't know it. You'd think he's like 35, been working out his whole life because the dude's just built up. He's strong. What a great pick by Troy Weaver. I'd say this is one of Troy Weaver's best moves for sure as Pistons GM, because the Cade, the Ivy, those, I'm not trying to take that away from him, but those are kind of easier picks to make. But for him to maneuver and make a trade and somehow get Duran at pick 13, that's just insane to me. Because Jalen Duran, he has really, 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 really high potential. I think the Pistons said if Ivy was gone, they were going to consider 
taking Duran with the fifth pick. That's how high they value Jalen Duran. And after one season in the NBA, we can all see why now that they valued Jalen so high because he's a really, really good player. It's not taking him a long time to learn anything. And it's just pretty crazy. It's very impressive that Troy Weaver was able to pull off that move. And there's a lot of teams that are very disappointed that he dropped to 13. I'm already seeing redrafts, and there's Jalen Duran going 5th, 6th, 7th. He's going very high in NBA redrafts already. Just after one year of playing, everyone can see his potential. He is just destined for greatness, in my opinion. Everything he does just fits the Pistons perfectly. We couldn't really ask for a better situation for him to be in. With guys like Ivy, with guys like Cade, great facilitators. So I really don't see any reason why he went pick 13. I know a lot of teams are regretting passing on him, but the Pistons are very excited to get him at that pick. Again, great job by Troy Weaver to identify when something drops that far, and that's a great value. You know, he maneuvered, he traded Jeremy Grant, all those things that happened, took on the salaries of some guys. And in the end, we ended up with Jalen Duran. This guy is a cornerstone, foundational piece for the Detroit Pistons as they rebuild and build towards the future. You pair him with a guy like Cade, Ivy, Asar Thompson, who are all athletic elite playmakers. And you have just dangerous, a dangerous starting lineup. I believe that Jalen Duran has the highest floor out of anyone in the Pistons' core. I believe he can be an all-star for 10-plus years. And I believe that his floor is like an Andre Drummond. I think worst-case scenario, he makes like one all-star game, and he's just a solid NBA player for 10-plus years. I think that's the worst-case scenario with Jalen Duran. You guys let me know in the comments what do you guys think his ceiling and his floor is. But I think his ceiling could be... 10 years plus being an all-star. I think he could be defensive player of the year multiple times. I think his ceiling is crazy. His potential is crazy. You look at him, he's 19 years old doing what he's doing already, showing what he can do in the NBA. So that is why I think his ceiling is very high. And I mentioned defensive player of the year. That's one thing that I, go, I think goes unnoticed and a big time thing that people are sleeping on with Jalen Duran is his defense. I watched a lot of the Pistons games last year, a majority of them, and I'd say Jalen Duran was one of our best defenders, if not our best defender. His paint presence was absolutely very intimidating for the other team. Probably the most intimidating player on our team as far as the paint goes. Players just don't want to play against him. You get these big centers, they don't want to play against a guy like Jalen Duran because he's willing to outwork you. He's putting in more effort, and then you can see that with Duran, he's always putting in 100% effort. And that's what I love about JD on the Pistons. I think he fits Detroit perfectly, just working hard, never quitting, because he showed that last year. He was just relentless. He's attacking the boards. He's running up and down the court. It doesn't matter how tired he is. He just kept going and going. And he's really just a hard guy to deal with for the opposition. You drive, you're trying to go for a layup, you're usually going to have to take a floater. So I hope you can hit a floater because JD's not letting you just come in and get an easy layup. He's not. He's crazy. His defensive presence, very intimidating for the big guys, the little guys, everyone. He makes an impact for the entire team on defense. And that's a huge thing the Pistons need. And we've needed that for a long time on the Detroit Pistons. Jalen Duran brings that. I couldn't be more excited to have a guy like Jalen Duran on the Detroit Pistons. What do you guys think his ceiling is? What do you guys think his floor is? I think he is the highest floor of anyone on the Pistons roster. I really think this guy has crazy potential. And he's already shown it. Next year, the Pistons... Get JD back with a healthy Cade, healthy Ivy. You got Stewart. Everyone on the Pistons. Asar is joining the bunch. JD is going to be crazy. He's going to be really good with this new Pistons core. 
Now, when you get Jalen Duran with a coach like Monty Williams, I think that's really going to expand his game and help him to blossom as a young player in the NBA. I think he's really going to learn a lot of things from a coach like Monty Williams. You look at what Monty did with a player like DeAndre Ayton out in Phoenix. And Ayton, he came in and he developed a very deep offensive bag. He's really good at mid-range shots. He drives, he can shoot the three on occasion. So he really has a lot to his offensive game out there in Phoenix. And I think Monty Williams can help develop Jalen Duran in a similar way. I think Duran has shown potential that his offense can be very lethal. For my people who watch Summer League, Duran was really doing a lot. He averaged 20 points and 9 rebounds in Summer League. He was doing step-back shots, shooting threes pulling up from mid-range crossovers. He was really showing us a lot in Summer League, so I think that even further shows his potential even more. It's very high. I'm very high on Jalen Duran. You guys let me know what you think of Jalen Duran and his future. Could he win Defensive Player of the Years? Can he be an All-Star? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Also, what do you guys think of the Detroit Pistons core as a whole? With Jalen Duran, what do you guys think the maximum ceiling is for this team? Can they win a championship with Jalen Duran as the centerpiece center on the team? Let me know down in the comments, guys. Without further ado, that's going to do it for the video. I'm Troy. This is Detroit Fan TV. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.